Hi, Daniel here, and I'm here with uh, Gail and Marlon from uh, Kyoto, uh, and I'm here to talk to them a little bit about their company. So, would you guys like to tell me a little bit about your company? You want to give me history? Yeah, of course. So, the Kyoto company has even been founded by an Austrian guy named Robert Kandut. Uh, he started to work with so uh, thermal panels and absorbers from 1991, uh, doing this in his free time in his garage and uh, started to become a single entrepreneur even in 1994. Uh, from that time on, the company was uh, growing, so increased the turnover every year. So from a single entrepreneur in 1994 to uh, 600 employee industry standardization production lines with 600 people. Okay, so what exactly do you uh, manufacture? So our, our core competence uh, is uh, solar thermal collectors. So last year we produced uh, 1.1 million square meters, what are more than 10 million square feet, uh, around 400,000 pieces. Uh, we have a market share of 30% in Europe with this product. And of course, this beautiful product you can see here behind us. Okay, so I, I can see uh, your two solar panels. Um, These are thermal solar. Or thermal, thermal solar. Uh, how exactly do they work? Well, what you have, you have uh, the, the thermal panel basically divide, is divided into three uh, pieces. The, the uh, housing, which it depends on um, different panels at different housing, but the common parts would be um, a grid of copper tubes that sits behind that uh, blue absorbent sheet. It's all copper uh, for heat transfer. Uh, it has, um, and um, they're all going to have some kind of a um, um, cover or, um, or um, on top to basically do uh, um, a film on top or color or, or, or paint or whatever just to absorb the heat. The idea is that these panels and uh, the uh, Green Montec panels basically um, use a high-tech, highly selective uh, PVD um, layer that would uh, absorb uh, the um, section of the sunlight that heats and would relinquish the ones that do not heat. So we to maximize and we have about 95% um, uh, absorption of heat through these panels. So obviously thermal panels for the purpose of heating water, thermal panels are more efficient than uh, using uh, PV panels to do the same job. So uh, we always recommend our customers to use a, what we call a hybrid system. It's going to be thermal systems to all their hot water needs and the PV panel can go for um, all their electrical needs. Okay. So this is actually, are either of these hybrid systems? No, these, the are, these are basically thermal panels. Okay. Okay. So what is um, like what are the applications of a system like this? Uh, applications can be residential, commercial. Uh, we do um, a lot of residential for, to heat the water, but if you knew that 35% of your bill, electrical energy, energy bill basically is hot water. Uh, you, if you also knew that about um, uh, an average system releases about seven metric tons of CO2 in the air, by using our system, you're eliminating seven million tons of CO2 released, multiplied by how many houses we have. It's a huge contributor to uh, global warming. We can eliminate a lot of it. Plus, um, so this is for the house. So it's for showers, uh, dishwasher, um, uh, washer, I mean, clothes washer, and pools. Uh, and for the commercial side, we um, do uh, hotels, restaurants, for the same reasons, hot water uh, for uh, use, uh, um, shower use and, and uh, cooking. Okay. Um, how, uh, how quickly can these panels heat up enough water for like a residential house? Very quickly. V very quickly. Um, if you have, um, with these panels, you have a couple panels, if you have about, uh, I would say, half an hour of sun, you already have enough hot water to take a shower. Wow, okay. So for like a typical installation, would you just have one panel or do you couple use panels. a couple? It'll be, it depends. I mean, we also heat the house. You can heat the house with it if you choose to do so, what we call hydronic heating. So you can use, the, if you use the panel only for hot water, for shower, it would depend on how many people you have in the house. Uh, a, a, a house with two residents, like says mom and pop and the kids fill out of the nest, or young couple would be single panel. Four people and up would be about four, uh, two panels. If you have a over 10 people in the house, you're going to need probably more. But two panels would do good for up to six people in the house. Okay, and so does this technology use the actual heat from the sun or does it use UV? This technology actually uses the heat from the sun uh, and converts it, converts it into, um, um, as we said, showers and, and, and so on and so forth. The idea is that 
this technology is about 85% efficient as opposed to the electrical panels, which are 10% efficient. Okay. And so how, how is that affected by climate or like poor weather? Okay. If you have, as I said, I mean, this isn't so efficient that if you have, um, um, you don't have, normally in California you have nice weather and whatnot, but let's say if you go up to the uh, northeast or whatnot, um, if you have, uh, well, let's say about maybe an hour worth of sun, you're good. Even under clouds, heavy cloud, you can get hot water. During a cloudy day, you get hot water. Yeah. So okay. even due to this high selective coated absorber that he mentioned first, uh, with this BVD coating, a vacuumized process, uh, even under diffuse light uh, influences, you, you can gain hot water. Okay, well, that's very impressive. Um, so if I were a normal consumer, where would I find these products? We, use, we have local uh, dealers. I mean, you know, um, we are the distributor, local distributor. We have a local distribution here. You can go on the, our website, which is www.freehotwater.net, and you have it on our, on our business card, so you can put it in. Uh, we have uh, complete systems offered, uh, as, as well as, uh, as panels or single components. Okay. We also do engineering, so that means if someone has so many kids in the house and he wants to heat the house, he wants to do the pool, he wants to do other things with it, or the hot tub, we can figure out what he needs and basically custom tailor the system for him. Okay. Is there any other way that your company is helping to stay green or sustainable uh, while manufacturing these Absolutely. products? Through the manufacturing process, very green. Um, we use only uh, green materials. Um, and uh, if you visit the, the factory, you will see that uh, there's every effort is being made to reduce carbon emissions using hot water. Uh, we use, in the factory, we use, the f company also produce um, PV panels. So we use all these resources to supply the energy for the factory and, for, uh, and, and to eliminate as, many, um, uh, as much as possible CO2 released in the air. Okay, and where is your factory located? It's in Austria. So the main factory is located in Austria, this is where the origin comes from, also what I mentioned about the boss who started in 1991 there. So we have uh, 35,000 square meters capacity there on the production side and we just now opened the second production line in Guadalajara in the state of Jalisco in Mexico uh, to have uh, yeah, a close distance of course to the, to the US market. Okay. I, um, is there anything else you would like to add? Yeah, I mean, I, <clears throat> I think it's very important. Thermal, thermal system did not get the exposure that PV panels got. And uh, for no good reason, uh, because as I said, for uh, the return on investment on these systems, even without the government incentive, checks out really quick. You can get a payback less than two years, even without the government incentives. They're very cost effective. Um, they very green, which means, uh, as I said, you know, if every house would save about seven metric tons of CO2 released to the air, you know, if you look at a city like San Francisco, there's 200,000 roofs on it. Um, 200,000 times seven, I mean, you're talking major your contribution to, um, to uh, greenhouse emission, uh, uh, gases emission reduction. Um, and um, especially in, in um, so I, I think it would be good if um, our government and officials would kind of pay attention to that area, which is kind of neglected a little bit, because even though it's not as sexy as electricity, it is sexy in its own terms. It's, I mean, in the old days, they used to be ugly and whatnot. These are beautiful, aesthetically pleasing panels, and they're very efficient. So one panel like that would replace 10 panels, uh, uh, PV panels. Sure. All right, well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching Builderoo.com.